Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Witcher 3, where it is 4 o'clock, not quite sundown, so we can't do the... I mean, we could wait, but can't quite do the... We're not going to do that yet, because... Are you level 11? Um, we're not going to meet him at the Kingfisher Inn, and we're definitely not doing this one, because we don't want to go to Skellige yet. But... We could do... Hmm. Could do that one. Or we could do fencing lessons. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Well, let's do... Let's do this one. There were some funny ones. What did it say? Uh, Witcher contract. We do need to go back for that. Um, what's that? Oh. Okay. Could do that, but I'm like... Eh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we could do that. The white lady. I love that. This is what, it was so funny. Where did he spend his coin on? Armor, sword, to clip, to hold back his hair? <laughs> and then deadly delights. I don't know what that one's about. I don't remember. Sometimes Dandelion does not give me very good information in these quests. In these quest descriptions. Um, I'm trying to bring my headphones every now and then. They just... They just don't want to work. Like, they just don't want to fit right, you know? Okay. Nope. Come on. The uh, Skellige language almost kind of looks like Elven. Except Elven always has, um, like, dashes or dashes and, like, umlauts and friggin' apostrophes in it to make it look fancier. Um, but yes, I think we'll do the volunteer. Let's look around. Hmm. Where? Okay. Wow, wait, whoa, this was supposed to be Novigrad. Holy crap. Oh, uh, it's near Oxenfort. Oxenfort. It's spelled Oxenfort, not Oxenfort. This whole area looks like it's rife with stuff. Okay, never mind. Just wanted to do something kind of close to town. Um, following the threat. Fence. Fine. Ugh. Where is she? Go to it tomorrow? Like, so I, so, I, so I can't do it yet? Was that just, when, when did I do that? I feel like that was fairly recently, or fairly, fairly well, a long time ago. But it doesn't say anything in here, but it says on the thing, go to the Vara Tre residence tomorrow to give her fencing lessons. How am I freaking am I supposed to keep track? Well, let's see, um... Actually... Uh... Okay, so that isn't... That's not updating it at all. Okay. Well... Maybe we'll just... We'll wait, I guess. And we'll do the main quest. I guess we could just run to the Kingfisher Inn. Where is that at? In the middle of High Arc Square. Well, maybe we'll go early and see how it is. The seven cats in, or this this is a fast travel. Okay, before they get shoved out of the way. So watch your rear end. Otherwise, you'll get in trouble. There's like some music going on. Is this an herbal? Yeah, it's an herbal. Right. Oh, I, I do need to sell things. Ew. Oh, God, you can go over here. I did not want to do that. Greetings. Greetings. 
Show me your wares. See, dude, you don't have anything. What's this? Spoil? And I can't tell you. Why can't I tell you anything? I can sell you food and drink and alchemy items. It doesn't say you're an alchemy person. So long. Who's. The herbalist is supposed to be over there, not over here. Oh, but can I... Can I sell things to you? How can I be of service? Bye. Till next time. You're useless. You're all useless. Who's this other wandering <laughs> merchant? Oh. Oh. Wait. Herb. No, you're the one I just talked to, and you only had herbology stuff. What about you? Welcome. Welcome. You didn't even have a bag on your head. What have you got there? You have pantaloons. I can't sell you anything either? Holy crap! Oh my gosh. People are useless to me. Perfume. Excellent. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. So long. Where do I gotta go? To sell things. <laughs> that boy, okay, whoever that guy is, I can hear him speaking. Should you have a wash? Block, okay. Um, he had a very creepy sounding voice. What is this place? Whoa. Why? It can't be. White hair, yellow eyes, slashed face. Just like he said. Me? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. <laughs> what is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you, said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself, but the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. What? And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Uh... O okay. Be glad to look over what you got. Haha. <laughs> oh! Wait, how much was that? Oh my gosh, I don't know how much that was. I wasn't paying attention. But, oh, but the, oh, these are cool books. Oh. Horse Whistler, Wild Hunt. I haven't, I don't have it yet. I like to buy books. This one's pretty. It's expensive. I want it. I've read that. Oh wait, no. Oh, the other one was Nilfgaard. This one's that was Oxenfurt. World Underground. Sure, I need to go to Skellige. Oh, I'm so broke. I want it. Um. None of these are red, per se.
That, that, I mean, that son of Gunstead, though, that's very... Scandinavian, I guess you could say. Freaking, there are spices in my house, and it smells, it smells like a spice rack. Like, but it smells like somebody is cooking with, like, a billion, a billion different spices. It's kind of making my face hurt. Okay, but I can sell you... Whoa. I could sell that, though? <gasps> Why is it letting me be able to- I thought those used to be in quest items. Like, unsellable. Sold for a significant sum, are you joking me? 16 coin is not a significant sum. up space I don't want that it's just one but I don't want it I don't want a mug either remake some of my losses box hide platter oh god I'll take the platters off my hands you're just a regular candelabra okay Is he actually a skeleton or is it just a mask? Do you think that man appeared on an empty world and game master over and challenges us foolish as thinking that the world will cease to exist after man's passing? Before the first human set foot on our world, it was inhabited by beings superior to men in terms of wisdom, strength, and every other virtue. The beings I have in mind still exist in our present time, though they do not exist in a sphere available to human understanding. They occupy no dimension known to us. Where they live can best be described as a space between worlds. At times one can sense their presence through a sudden, unknown scent or a strange feeling of anxiety. Dementors! With no apparent cause. A wind which blows in several directions at once is another example of their subtle manifestation of our realm. In our realm. There exist various imaginings, I'm reading this one out loud because it's the most expensive one, of what these creatures might look like, yet these have nothing to do with reality, for man is incapable of conceiving something which he has not seen, even in his wildest nightmares. The greatest horror these beings bring comes precisely from their indefiniteness and lack of concrete form. Yet it would be a mistake to think that formless, a formless creature is necessarily harmless. The power they possess is sufficient to lay waste to a forest, level a city, or open an entire sea into froth and waves. Today man is master of the world, but only for a short while. They wait patiently and will soon arise and regain their one-time glory. This is as certain as dawn follows dusk, and dusk then follows again soon after to drown everything once more in darkness. Well, who but freaking in what wrote this book? <laughs> Necronomicum. Nomicon. So dead, necro dead no necronomicon. So there has to be it's like ography or you know, it's like a it's a it's a suffix sort of that means something. I'll I'll have to look that up. I'm I'm interested. Okay, let's go up all the way. The ways and manners of Skellige folk, one's attention is immediately drawn to the fact that their seemingly impoverished huts shine with cleanliness. The walls of their homes are usually made with pine and covered with a substance derived from sap which keeps out all manner of vermin. I believe it scares off insects as well, for I do not see a single one indoors during my entire stay in Skellige. The interiors of their huts are quite spacious and usually divided into two rooms. Uh, act as a bedroom. In the middle of each main chamber stands a large round table. Doesn't everybody do this? Supper is hallowed event and carried out in a different manner. At the start, the group of family members keep their seats. So dinner is important, apparently. The eldest of the family tears off a piece of bread, places on the something of a household altar, which occupies a place of honor each scale of a home. These service symbols of respect for deceased ancestors. At the end of the ceremony, the for the departed, the family sits down to eat. 
that's like very uh, South American too, like the Day of the Dead thing, Cinco de Mayo. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, Services as a symbol of respect. Elves women places a steaming bowl in the middle of the table. Everyone has their own spoon, which they dip one by one in the basin of food. They most often eat porridge, or wish the porridge gravy made from fish or meat. That's kind of like um, Asian, isn't it? Or like there's a a bunch of food platters in the table, and then like you just take bits and pieces out of it. You don't like um, like in America, and I think in England is the same way. Like you just you take what you want and you put it all on your plate, you know. And you eat from that, but but that's considered rude, as far as I'm aware, in like Asian cultures where, the or India, like I mean, it's kind of like that whole area, I guess, the Asian continent. But um, yeah, they like they just take a little, they take a little bit from each one, just whenever they want, and they're basically just eating out of all, eating the same bowls, and uh, it's kind of cool, like the different the differences between like cultural food complexities, you know. Uh, and what it kind of indicates about the culture. Uh, it's just, I, I could go on about it. Just, not a lot, but a little bit, but I won't. Uh, curiously, me upon the first conclusion, the Ellis takes the piece of bread set aside from the start and places it in a large amphora. As I learned later, when an amphora becomes full, it's filled with boiling water and a beverage is brewed which tastes, in taste, some, somewhat resembles beer, though it is much weaker. <laughs> Bestiary entry added. Oh, because of the fauna. Okay, I was like, what? What a wolf is, every man knows. Who hasn't heard them howling at nights or seen their tracks in the snow come morning? Who hasn't felt a cold chill or not his spine when he catches sight? A pack of five of a pack of five of twenty of them hunting in the woods. These beautiful animals are treated by men as enemies, and not without reason for they attack our flocks and kill even our horses when tend to be frost. If they are noble beasts and with great intelligence and displaying a strength and independence that no man can help but admire. Indeed. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's one. I wonder if it's this glowing thing next to me. I got a basilisk decoction! Didn't I already have that? Where did I... Where, where, what? Where did I get the basilisk one? I don't have a basilisk yet. I had a cockatrice, which looks just like a basilisk. I thought basilisks were more snake-like than this. They all look exactly the same! Slain during event. Let's hope the beast choked on his bones. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, basilisks cannot turn into anything to stone with their gaze. It is small comfort, however, given that their acid, venom, and claws and teeth provide many other ways to kill. Basilisks love dark, damp places such as cellars, caves, and city sewers. Wow, really? They hunt by day, waiting patiently and hiding for their prey to come, then jump out in a flash to unleash delay tech. When preparing to fight which creature, one should drink golden oriole, which provide, provide a resistance to his venom. I also have that. I have that. And also prepare a dancing star or shrapnel bomb, which work particularly well against basilisks. Yeah, the shrapnel bomb I have is like... Bwah! Basilisk leather is a highly valued material used to make fashionable shoes and women's handbags. Of course it is. For this reason, many men, their courage girded by gold lust, take to hunting them. Most of these hunts are disaster, but some do manage to bag their prey, which has led to drastic decline in the creature's numbers in recent years. Some mages and druids are of the opinion that basilisks should be included in programs meant to safeguard dying species. Everyone else thinks that those mages and druids have gone completely mad. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, you don't you don't want a, a creature to completely die out. There would be a loss in the world, but at the same time, it's like, things that prey... Ex almost exclusively on humans, it's like, yeah, <laughs> you know. But, but where did that come from? Uh, which, which book? It was one of the first ones I read. I don't remember. Uh, what wasn't the Wild Hunt? Oh, Basilisk. Oh, I didn't actually read it. Why do you say shriek, shriek? Ew. In search of a zoogle. Haha! <laughs> and when Witcher saw the happiness of foolish little girl inside. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a very morbid Red Riding Hood version where nobody lives. <laughs> well, except for the Witcher, but. I wonder where, oh did I, did I, uh, I probably got the basilisk thing from that, uh, from the, 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 the decoction. Let's see. 
Applies a buff, increasing the intensity of your random selected sign at, at dusk and dawn. Lasts longer than other mutagen decoctions and is only at 50 toxicity. That's nice, because I'm like, if it only works then, it's like, yeah, what the freak? Why am I holding on to this? Why am I using it? All right. See, this is why I want to read the books. They give you cool stuff sometimes. Oh, I'm so tempted. This guy's a bookkeeper. Oh, I wonder. Could I look at your other books, though? This guy's got... Ah! He's got he's got the bookcase that's under the stairs. Ah, oh, freaking! Ugh. What were you doing, man? Are you like cataloging your books? Oh, this is my house. This is my house. Can I live here, guy? Oh, oh, we can uh, check different books. That's not a red one, though. No. Ooh! Don't mind me, guy. I'll just uh, ah! Morabundia, the vampire's last likeness. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I saw the Isabella and Edward. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Twilight, obviously, but let's read it. Thereupon Isabella took Edward's glistening visage in her hand and embraced his icy lips, which were twisted into a cynical grin. Forgive me, my love, she whispered, stif stifling the sobs, heaving her bosom. But my heart doesn't long with tears of passion for yon werewolf. <laughs> Thou hatest! <laughs> with all thy vampiric thouness. <laughs> oh, thouness. Tis for the best, spoke Edward, shifting his pale face toward the equally pale moon. With me thy life was ever endangered. With yon werewolf thou shalt know peace and happiness. Edward turned around and took a step towards the exit, but Isabella grabbed his wrist and bade he stop. The touch of her hand was so tender, his heart newly began to beat anew. <laughs> newly began to beat anew. <laughs> After centuries of death, least in this, there is more, she spoke, averting his penetrating... <laughs> averting his penet... What? <laughs> I am with Jaya. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, that was the best! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I used to read the Twilight books all the time when I was younger. Uh, well, because I, I read the first one and I really liked it, and I read the second one and I really hated the beginning. Even when I liked the books, I just was like, "Oh my gosh, it's a belly, get over yourself!" It's when she just like when Edward like leaves her and she just like lays on the ground and is like, eh, and like for months just lays around, and I'm like. This is not, this actually, this is a problem. Teenage girls do not need to be reading this kind of crap that when their boyfriend leaves them, they can, they just, their life is worth nothing. I'm like, no, no, you don't need to be encouraging this kind of behavior. <laughs> and then, you know, I, I read it. And then, but every time I go back and read the first one, I'd, I, every time I'd be like, ah, like there was just something. I was like, because I was like, something, I don't really like this, and it was kind of weird, and every time, I, because I reread it a couple times, and every time, I liked it less and less, and I was just like, ew, and then I got into like, I've always been into English, but I did an English major and an anthropology major, and freaking, you just, my English classes would use the Twilight book as an example of like, like, they would show up, pull out paragraphs that you could try to like, um, oh, what do they call it, to graph them or whatever, I always hated that part of grammar, but like, it was it was hilarious. They are many of them are such poorly written sentences, and the material is stuff that just d teenage girls do not need to be reading. And it's like ah, like I used to like them, and I slowly turned away because I was just like, what is this? <laughs> Tyromancy, the noble art of cheese divination. Tyromancy. Why are you reading them out loud? <laughs> Let's go on. Cheese, blah. I like the flight of a swallow. Wow. This is an ancient method of fondue. Fondue is great. Why? Why? Why do these. Was that a red one? So we're just picking up random red books and we're laughing at them. The life of Jacques de Ardesburg. My manifesto. Must be it. There's a letter inside. No, no, no. Treatment of for uncles through cauterization. The treatment of for uncles through cauterization. A study. 
Um, you freaking, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be checking all these books. Don't you dare end it for me. I'm not done. My Mary, the very, the Merry Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, the illustrated edition. Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, adorned with humorous engravings. Humorous engravings. Mm. Hmm. All right. Um. Where's my where my books? Where are my books at? Yep, we got that. Mhm. Mm Is it? Oh, it's still in quest books somewhere. Wait. Oh uh, no. A is A letter. A letter. A letter. A letter. A letter. A. Friggin', I don't know. Where is it? Oh no. Ah, where did it go? How do I read stuff? Oh yeah, I can look in here. Um, where do I keep books in here? I've already read that. My manifesto. Wait, first let's read. <laughs> nah. Path to, through the forest. Such was chose her carriage to attack. The reason for choosing Jockstad Aldersburg as Grandmaster remained a mystery. The reasons. The Order of the White Rose had gone through a crisis in those times and was on the verge of collapse, so one might guess that the Brethren wished to have some, one, someone decisive as their leaders, someone with a clear vision. Da Aldersburg was presented to such a man. One of his first decisions was to change the Brotherhood's name to the Order of the Flaming Rose. The most puzzling aspect, however, is that the Order and the King himself decided to trust the man who, for all its purposes, had appeared out of nowhere. They say he was a wanderer, an itinerant priest who moved with crowds with his speeches, or moved, his, moved crowds with his speeches against the claiming non-humans. They say he worked miracles and showed his flock visions of a world destroyed by the White Frost. He was undoubtedly a man of great charisma, one instilled with the unshakable principles which he in turn tried to instill in others. Was he truly a source? Was he indeed gifted with raw magic talent? That we will never know for certain. Witcher in the Ocean of Possibility, a letter from A. Some events are more likely and some less. It is not easy to fish out the first, nor, not even when one's intellectual stretches intellect stretches through all time and space. I left this letter for you in the hope that despite all odds, you will come across it one day, for I must warn you, mankind is threatened. The prophesied destruction by the right, white frost, not just the babbling of some mad she-elf. Perhaps I will have the opportunity to convince you this in person. If not, I must rely on this letter that you will read many years from now, at a time when you know more than you did when we first met. Know that nothing will save the world except preparing its entire population for this catastrophe. The tale, old tales say a child of the elder blood can stave off the danger, but I tried and failed. Ever since, I have been haunted by a hideous vision of crowned wraith, the specter of my failure. I was the chosen one, and the chosen one failed. You and your brotherhood are our only hope. When the time of the wolf's blizzard comes, men shall perish, and only the ubermen will survive. Your duty is to give the world ubermen. Whatever you think of me, do not fail as I have failed. Ubermen, yikes. Interesting concept there. Of a dangerous one as well. Ah, uh, who was? It wasn't Nietzsche. It's a, it's a philosophical concept. Oh, I can't remember some. I can't remember super specifics, but it's uh, tied into some not so pleasant things. I was the chosen one. I was feeling this guy until he said Uberman. Now I'm a little worried. He thought he was the chosen one. Well, there are lots of child of the elder blood. Who's A? I'm trying to think. If Siri. I don't know. It's not the emperor. Hmm. Uh, yes, it is. It, 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 it. Whenever you go, carve off a boy. Oh, <sighs> Uh, 
Oh god. Ugh. Message from an old friend. Hey, guy. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but oh, we've ones with drawings as well. Cute. Bye. Farewell. Uh, oh god, I don't know if I have the money to spend more on books, even though I would love to. It is like dinner time, though. Oh. <laughs> no. Seems to me I've a from a land oh, to it's the lady. Priscilla. Okay. Save game. <laughs> 